Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I am really excited about today's video. I have some fun news to share with you. I've been working on this for a while and kind of getting the details all situated and planning things out. So I'm excited to say that I'm officially launching Club Quitabug, which is my new online stamp club. Um, each month I will be featuring a stamp set from one of our current catalogs, and I will have a kit that I will be sharing with you all that features three projects that coordinate with that stamp set. Um, and any month that you choose, you can be a club member. Uh, it's really simple to be part of Club Quitabug. All you have to do is place a minimum $35 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. Uh, that's $35 before shipping and tax. And just be sure to use that month's hostess code. So as long as you do that, use the hostess code and place a $35 minimum order, you're in and you will receive this card kit in the mail from me. There is no shipping that you have to pay, nothing. That's covered by me. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Um, every month on the first of the month, I will share with you the featured stamp set for that month along with the ink colors that coordinate with that um, card kit for the month. And then I will share the three projects with you. So it is gonna be a much longer video than I typically do because I am going to show you how to assemble all three projects, but there's a reason why I'm gonna do that. Um, that way, when you get your kit in the mail from me, you can go back and reference this video and you'll be able to create your projects along with me. And I'm really excited about that because it will make my videos more interactive um, between you and I. Uh, we can create together. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. You'll want to stay with me to the end of this video because I have a special giveaway to announce just to get you guys ex as excited about um, Club Quitabug as I am. So stay tuned to the end. This is going to be a long video, so just hang in there. And at the end, I'm going to share that awesome giveaway with you guys and give you the details on how you can enter to win. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this month's featured stamp set, and I'll give you more details about Club Quitabug as we go. Okay, so this month's featured stamp set is the Painter's Palette stamp set. I have used this previously in another video. I love this set. It is actually more versatile than I originally expected and you can mix and match it so easily with a lot of our other stamp sets so I love this set so we're gonna use this stamp set this month and then the ink colors that I've selected are basic black um, archival ink our new flirty flamingo in color and our new emerald envy in color so I love this color palette for um, this month's club. Uh, these four items together equal $37.50. So if you were to purchase these four items, you're automatically in the club because not only did you spend $35, you spent $2.50 more. So you're automatically in the club with this purchase. Now let's say that you already have some of these supplies. So that's totally fine. You can place a $35 minimum order for whatever product you want. You don't have to get um, certain products to be part of Club Quitabug. Just know that the this month's card kit is featured around this stamp set. So it is designed to go with this stamp set. But you don't have to get these products if you want something else. That's totally fine. Just as long as you spend $35 or less, and you use this month's um, hostess code, which I have put on the screen for you. Um, just use that code, you're good to go. Okay, so I am going to share with you the um, projects for this month, but let me, before I do that, let me just share some other uh, benefits of being a club member. So as a club member, you will automatically be added to my mailing list. So whenever we have new catalogs coming out, you're automatically on the list to receive one. Um, if you are part of my August club, this month's club, uh, you will receive in your club pack um, the new holiday catalog. That catalog goes live in September, the beginning of September. It's either the first or the second, I can't remember. But you will receive your catalog in your kit. So that's pretty awesome. You'll get your catalog before anybody else. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, 
club members will receive um, an exclusive video at the end of the month where I'm gonna make, for this uh, month's club, I'm gonna make two additional projects um, using this stamp set and only club members will have access to those projects and to that video. I will send you that video in an email so no one else gets to see that content but club members. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, I think I've covered everything. Um, I hope so. If I haven't, just please, please, please um, post your questions below in the comment section or email me at quitabughandmaids at gmail.com. Um, just reach out and I will gladly answer any questions that you might have. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you um, what you'll receive in the mail from me. So in the mail, you will receive a um, your kit and it'll look sort of like this. Everything will be nicely packaged in one of our six by eight um, cello bags. Um, this month's projects, here they are. So you'll receive all of the consumable supplies to make one of this card, pretty cute. Um, one of this card, which I absolutely love and one of this card, which is my favorite out of the three. Um, so your kit comes with all the supplies, all the consumable supplies to make one of each of these cards. Nothing is stamped in these kits. Nothing is pre-stamped. You will have to have the stamp set yourself and then the ink pads. Um, nothing comes stamped. It's just the blank raw materials. You have to do the rest of the work um, with the other materials needed. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started making the first card. Okay, some other materials that you will need to provide um, for your cards is you will need some sort of adhesive. I'm using Fast Fuse, um, dimensionals, um, your blocks for your stamps. You can use whatever blocks you have. Um, I am using our Stampin' Up! blocks. I've got block B, block E, block D, and block C here. Uh, you'll need some scissors, and you'll also need a bone folder. Okay, let's go ahead and take out, let me set some of this stuff aside. Let's take out our supplies here. So I've laid everything out really neatly in your kit. Um, so in your kit, I've already separated all the pieces for the cards. I even have included the envelopes. So we're going to take off the materials for the first card. And then also at the back of your kit, um, you'll find a white sheet like this. I've included a full color PDF with all of the measurements for the projects so that if you wanna make them again, you've got all the measurements here. And then on the back, you've got a list of all of the supplies that I used. So that way, if you wanna order more supplies to make more of these, you've got all of the supplies listed out here, okay? Okay, so let's get started here. I'm gonna move the envelope out of the way. So we're gonna start with this piece of Whisper White cardstock. I've given you a half a sheet because you're gonna need it for the other projects as well. And let's go ahead and use our basic black. And we're going to stamp the easel and we're going to stamp it two times. So just ink it up really, really well. Okay, and we're going to stamp that twice. You wanna press down really well for that ink to absorb. Ooh, that's really good. And then one more time. Okay, so I have stamped those twice. Um, another item that I do recommend you uh, investing in 
is our stamp and scrub to clean your blocks. Um, the stamp and scrub is awesome. Um, if you stamp as much as I do, or even if you're just a regular crafter, this is a great tool to have in your collection to clean your stamps. Okay. Okay, and what we're going to do next is you wanna bring in your scissors and we're going to cut out this entire easel and then we're gonna cut out just the square part of this one. Okay, and I'm just going to leave a very thin white border around my full easel as well as my window frame. Okay, so once you have cut out your easel and your frame, save this piece because we're gonna need it again. We're gonna actually use it two more times. So save this piece off to the side. Okay, and now we're going to stamp on this piece and I'm going to bring in a little bit of scratch paper as well. So we're going to start by stamping um, an emerald envy. We're going to stamp the splatter that comes in the stamp set. We're going to ink it up. We're going to stamp it off. And I think I want to stamp it off one more time. And then I'm going to stamp it on right there. Ink it up. Stamp it off twice again. Stamp it on, just like that. Then I'm gonna bring in the smallest little swoosh, uh, like paint stroke. I'm gonna ink that up. Stamp it off two times as well. And then I'm going to stamp it right here. Okay. And I'm gonna repeat that down here in the bottom corner. Okay, just like that. And then we can put our Emerald Envy away. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in the Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to stamp the sentiment, your idea to have a birthday was simply a stroke of genius. And we're gonna stamp this full strength in the center. Make sure I have this straight. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. And that is all of the stamping for this first card. So we can start assembling this card. Okay, so I've gone ahead and folded it over, given it a crease with my bone folder. Um, this doesn't come scored. You will need to score it yourself um, on your Emerald Envy piece. Um, take your uh, large speckled layer here, add some adhesive of your choosing, and let's just add this on. We're gonna put this piece just across the center. Now I did cut this um, a little bit larger than you actually need. Um, on the on your PDF that's included in your kit, uh, I put the exact measurements, but I cut it a little bit longer. Um, and then you can just snip off the extra that you have. You can use this piece for something else if you want. Okay, then we're gonna take the square piece that comes in your kit and you can either um, use this side or if you want to use this side you can it's up to you I'm going to use the other side so just put some adhesive there okay once you've got that centered we're going to add the easel on and I'm just going to line up the top of the easel 
um, to the top of my designer series paper and I'll just adhere that down. I'm just gonna use some regular adhesive. Okay, then I'm going to take this piece and let's just put a little bit of adhesive on the back. You've got a strip of, or a long strand of the silver metallic thread. Just wrap that around your hand really loosely. You should have more than enough. I was pretty generous with this. And you wanna kinda of twist it around. And let me see how I want this. And just put that in the middle of your card or your um, piece here. And we just want that to kind of hang over the edge a little bit. And I am going to snip this short end. Okay, then we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this piece. Okay, and once you've got your dimensionals on the back, we are going to layer this right on top of our easel, just like that. Okay, and we have completed the first card in this month's card kit. Pretty cute. Okay, let's go ahead and go to card number two. Okay, so in your kit, you've got all the supplies for card number two. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my envelope to the side. And here are my supplies here. And we are going to be doing a little background stamping. I'm just gonna set everything else off to the side and I'm going to bring back my scrap paper. Um, this is Whisper White Thick, the card base for this card. So I did score that for you because it's so thick. So that one is pre-scored for you. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to bring back the little speckle stamp and my emerald NB ink pad and we are going to stamp a decorative um, background here. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm holding my card base down with my hand so that it um, doesn't raise as I'm stamping since I've got it folded. So I'm going to ink it up and then I'm just going to start. I'm going to stamp one, stamp two, stamp three. And I'm just trying to get a bunch of different tones here. So I'm going to go around the edge doing this. Stamp one, and I'm kind of rotating different ways. Stamp two, and then stamp three. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so my background is complete. I'm going to go ahead and put my Emerald Envy away. And I'm going to leave out my scratch paper for just a second because I'm going to bring in my easel stamp and then that scratch piece from earlier. I'm gonna bring in my flirty flamingo. So get out your flirty flamingo. We're going to stamp the easel in flirty flamingo, but we really only need the square part of the image. So I'm going to stamp off of the page just a little bit because I only need the frame. And just press down really, really good when I get good absorption of the ink. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that's all we need our flurry flamingo for. Move this out of the way. And then clean off your stamp. Okay, bring in the Whisper White cardstock. 
that um, was also for this um, card. Bring in that piece and your basic black ink again. And we're going to stamp the easel on this piece now. So ink it up really well. Okay. And then you want to center it and stamp it down. And allow that ink to absorb really nicely into the paper. Okay, pretty good. Put my basic black, actually leave out your basic black. We're gonna need it again. Leave it out um, and go ahead and clean your stamp again. Okay, now we've got this piece. We're gonna leave this piece alone, but we are going to cut out this pink frame. So again, bring in your scissors and cut out just the pink frame and leave a little bit of a white border again. Okay, I've got that frame piece cut out. Again, save this piece because we need this last square for our last card. So save that piece of scrap. And let's bring in the um, a little expression of love stamp that comes in the set. Ink that up really well. And then you just want to stamp this in the center at the bottom. Hopefully I'm going to stamp it straight. Woohoo! Not bad. Okay, now we're done with our basic black. Um, in your Club Queetabug kit, there was a silver glimmer heart. Go ahead and just adhere that silver glimmer heart um, at an angle just like this just like that okay now let's start assembling this card so bring back your card base bring in your designer series paper again you can use whichever side you want you know what I think I'm gonna use this side this time. I used the other side last time. I'm gonna use this side. Okay, but you can use whatever side you want. And we're gonna put this in the center. And again, that probably hangs over the edge. Just clip that off. Okay, then you've got a piece of flirty flamingo. Just kind of offset that from that um, designer series paper strip. So just offset it a little bit to the right. Okay. Now we are going to pop up our pink frame onto the black one using some dimensionals. Okay, once you've got that on dimensionals, just add it right on top. Okay, and then flip over your other easel and we're going to add dimensionals to this piece as well. Okay, once you've got your dimensionals on the back, we're going to center this piece on the entire card. So I think this looks about right. Yep, press it down. Get that nice and centered. And there we go. That finishes card number two. Ooh, I really like um, the other side. I think that kind of spices this one up. Either one looks really cute though. I like them both. Okay, let's go on to card number three. 
Okay, so now we're on to card number three, the last card in the kit. This one is my favorite. I like all three, but this one is my favorite of the three. Okay, so if you bring in your supplies from the kit, let's take out the envelope. And let's start with, you've got two pieces of Whisper White here. One of these is actually to go on the inside of your card. Okay, so we'll save that for last. Take out one of them though. So we're going to start with this piece and we're going to bring in our Emerald Envy ink and the easel. And we're gonna ink this up really well. Okay, and you wanna stamp your easel in the center of your layer here. And again, all the measurements for these projects will be on your PDF um, that comes in your kit. Okay, so I'm just letting that ink absorb really well. Don't you love these projects, guys? And I love these colors together. They're perfect. Okay, so that one didn't ink up full strength like I'd like it, but that's okay. Okay, so set that aside and bring in that piece of scrap again. And now we're going to stamp, oops, I should have left my emerald envy out. Okay, so my camera died, <laughs> sorry about that. So on that scratch piece, I went ahead and stamped the um, easel again in emerald envy and I cut out the frame. So now what we're gonna do is, let's just set that piece aside, bring this piece in and some scratch paper again, and let's bring back our flirty flamingo and bring in the speckle image, and we are going to stamp this from the top left corner all the way to the bottom right corner. So I'm just gonna start stamping full strength, and I'm gonna kind of rotate as I go across just so that I get different placement of the stamp. And you won't see all of these, but I'm doing it anyway. And then one more time. Okay, so just like that, that looks good. And then let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And while we have um, this ink pad out and this stamp out, I'm gonna clean off my speckle, my stamp and scrub, because now I am going to stamp that on my square piece in Emerald Envy. So I'm gonna bring my Emerald Envy back in, ink up my little speckle here. And I'm gonna stamp this full strength right about here, okay? And that's all I want with my Emerald Envy. Then I'm going to bring in the large swoosh or paint stroke, and I'm going to stamp that in Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna stamp it going across full strength, then stamped off, just like that. Then I'm gonna bring in the small swoosh, or I keep saying swoosh, paint stroke, and I'm gonna stamp that full strength in the bottom corner. There we go. I love the stamp set, it's awesome. Okay, now let's bring in our basic black and we're going to stamp the, our friendship is a work of art sentiment. Such wonderful sentiments in this set. Okay, so ink that up really well. And then we need to stamp that in the center of our window here. Hopefully that's straight. Allow that ink to really absorb up 
gorgeous. That looks fantastic. Okay, now let's start assembling this card. So before we add this to our basic black card base, we need this strip. You can use either side that you want. Um, I liked the black and um, very vanilla side. I'm gonna bring in my scissors and I'm just going to banner these ends. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to adhere this piece across the center of our layer, just like that. Get my adhesive. Okay, just add that across the center. Right about there looks good. Yep, okay. Then in your, included in your uh, Club Quita Bug kit, there is a piece of flirty flamingo ribbon. There's about seven inches, so that should be more than enough. Um, we're gonna wrap that around the top, or around the um, bannered piece Flip that over and then you could use your adhesive, your fast fuse or snail or whatever, but I'm going to use um, some scotch tape to stick that down just because it's the way that I like to do it. Okay, then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this piece. Okay. Gonna add a little bit more since I've got ribbon on there. And then I'm going to bring in my basic black card base. Um, this one was not scored for you. Only the Whisper White was scored, so you would have to um, score this card base for yourself. Okay, there we go. I love this card. This one is so cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this over. that. Okay, and then let's just add some dimensionals to this piece. Whoops. Okay, and once you've got your dimensionals on the back, just add this piece right on top of your easel. And there you have this card. Now let's just add the Whisper White layer that was included for your inside. Let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, so that finishes up card number three. I love these cards, you guys. I hope you like the August Club Quidabug card kit, my very first one. I'm so excited. Um, let me just bring in all three projects here. Okay, so I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, all you have to do to be part of Club Quidabug, there is no commitment. Just simply place a $35 minimum order with me in my online Stampin' Up! store. Be sure to use the hostess code. I'm going to put it right here on the video again. Be sure to use the hostess code with your um, order. That way uh, it counts towards Club Quidabug. That's all you have to do. And then I will send you your um, kit in the mail. Remember, nothing comes stamped for you. Um, you would need the Painter's Palette stamp set um, in order to stamp the images. So again, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment on this video or head on over to my Club Quidabug uh, page over on my blog. I have the link just below this video, so you can just click it and head straight over there. Um, or you can email me at quidabughandmaids at gmail.com. Um, I am quick to answer, so I can answer your questions really fast. I don't want you to uh, be wondering about anything, so please let me know if you have any questions. And stay tuned because I'm going to announce the giveaway and how to enter right now. 
Okay, thank you guys so much for hanging in there to the end. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're as excited about Club Quidabug as I am. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and I'm so happy to get this started. So as I promised, I do have a really awesome giveaway to share with you. Um, okay, I am giving away a set, a brand new set of the Layering Squares Framelits. These coordinate with the um, Painter's Palette stamp set. So that's really, really awesome. Um, let me show you what they look like on the inside. So this is my set here. So you get 19 dies. I've never given away something this cool before. I'm really excited about this. So you get 19 framelit dies in here. Um, all squares. So here you have just the squares and then here you have the scalloped squares that um, layer with the regular squares. Really awesome, guys. This is a really great giveaway. I'm so excited about this. So you can enter to win. I'm giving away one set. You can enter to win these framelits simply by heading over to my classes tab um, of quidabughandmaids.com where I have all of my Club Quidabug information. I have the link just below this video in the description notes. So click that link. It'll take you to my club page. Leave me a comment over there. Okay, so I had to check my calendar. I'm gonna leave this giveaway open until Friday, August the 12th. So you've got about two weeks to enter to win. So click the link below, that'll take you to my club page. Leave me a comment over there uh, to enter to win these framelits. And I will give you until August the 12th to enter. And then on August the 13th, 2016, that's a Saturday, I will announce the winner. So head on over there. You don't want to miss this giveaway. And thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, please, please, please uh, let me know. I'd love to answer them. And I'd love for you to be a part of Club Quidabug. All right. Thanks for joining me today, guys. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.